Hey everyone, um, some of you are new to this class, so if that's the case, uh, I'm Miss Stuberg, and I'll be your teacher this semester. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, that's me right there, um, but you'll meet me tomorrow, so I apologize that I'm not there today. Anyway, you should have your booklets in front of you. These notes are on pages one and two. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about ratios and proportions, so... Um, Pay attention. Right here, we need to, it's going to be a lot of reducing fractions into simplest form, that kind of stuff. So you're going to want to pay attention. Um, if you pay attention to this video, you will know how to do your assignment. So, 2 sevenths, which one is equivalent to that? Well, 8 eighteenths, if we divide both of them by 2, both the top and the bottom, we get 4 ninths. So that one doesn't work. Um, if we go 621, we can divide them both by 3. If we do that, we get 2 over 7. That one matches. We don't even have to move on because we know that B is our answer. Okay. So, a ratio. It can be written as a fraction, A over B. It can be written as this little thing where I've got A, um, that colon means 2B or we can written, write it out in words, a to b. So if I have the fraction 1 half, I can write it as 1 half, I could write it as 1 to 2, or I could write it as 1 to 2. Those are basically what you're looking for. Okay, It is usually written in the simplest form. So make sure that, say this was 2 to 4, we would want to reduce that to 1 to 2. Make sure that you're putting it in lowest terms. Okay, if we simplify these, okay, I've got 60 centimeters to 200 centimeters. They are both in centimeters, so we're good. If we divide them both by 2, we've got 30 to 100 but that's still not in lowest terms, so we've got to go one more. So if we divide it by 2 again, we will get 15 to 50. Still not in lowest terms. What can I divide by? 5, so 3 to 10. Okay. If we would have done it the same way, we could have divided these both by 20. Okay. But a lot of us are going to start with 2s. We just have to make sure that we go all the way down to all the way down to lowest terms. Okay, I've got 3 feet to 18 inches. We've got to change these both into inches. So how many inches are in a foot? There are 12 inches in a foot. So I'm going to take 3 times 12 and I get 36 inches over 18 inches, which when I reduce this, I actually get 2 to 1. If I divide them both by 18, I get 2 to 1. So I'm going to leave it just like that where I've got it 2 over 1. Okay, right here I've got, I'm going to use ratios to figure out what my lengths are. So if my lengths are 4 to 1, okay, we know that this is 4 to 1 and they equal 30. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add x's onto this ratio and I'm going to go 4x to 1x gives us 30. If I add these two segments together I want to get 30 so I'm going to set it up as 4x plus 1x is going to be equal to 30. So 5x equals 30. We divide both sides by 5 and we get x equals 6. Okay. It's all fine and dandy that we have x, but we also need to figure out what these lengths are. So let's plug in our x to figure out what they are. This one we're going to take 4 times 6, and we get 24. So AB is 24. BC is going to be 1x, 1 times 6 gives us 6. And we can check it by saying 24 plus 6 gives us 30. Okay, same thing, perimeter, we've got 80 feet. So I've got 7x and 3x. How do I find perimeter? This is also 7x 
this is also 3x because it's a rectangle. So to find the perimeter, I have to add up all the sides. So instead of just adding 7x plus 3x, I've got to go 7x plus 3x plus 7x plus another 3x, and that is going to give me my 80 feet. Okay, so I add these together and I get 20x equals 80. We divide both sides by 20, and we're going to get x equals 4. Once I have my x equals 4, I can plug them in here. 7 times 4, this side is 28. 3 times 4, this side is 12. Okay, so they're looking for our length and my width. My length is 28, my width is 12. Okay, again, we've got these segments, so it's 2 to 1 this time. So we've got 2 and 1 here, so we're going 2x and 1x. We add them together to get 24, so we're going 2x plus 1x equals 24, or 3x equals 24. Divide both sides by 3, and x is going to give us 8. So now I can take it and plug it in. 2 times 8 gives us 16, so EF is 16. FG is 1 times 8, so that's 8. We can check it by 16 plus 8 gives us 24. Okay, here again, perimeter. I would draw a picture. Okay, we've got the length is 4, length is 3 and their ratios, so 4x and 3x, 4x and 3x, so we add them all together, 4x plus 3x plus 4x plus 3x, that's going to equal our perimeter, which is 84, okay, so 12x, no, just kidding, 7x plus 7x, I've got 14x equals 84, I've got to divide both sides by 14, so 84 divided by 14 is going to give us 6, so x equals 6, and then we've got to plug them in. 4 times 6, we're going to get 24 is my length, 3 times 6 is 18, so my width is 18. Okay, a couple other things that we just need to talk about real quick before... I let you work. Okay, what if they're talking about area? If they say my area equals 64 and my length to width equals, let's say, 3 to 2. Okay, this is where we have to be a little bit more careful because I've got 3x and 2x, but how do I find area? Area is length times width. So we're taking 3x times 2x, and that's going to give us 64. Or we multiply these together, we get 6x squared equals 64. We've got to divide both sides by 6. So we have x squared equals about 10.67. But to get x, remember what we have to do is take the square root of both sides. So I've got to take the square root of 10.67, and hopefully you're doing that, and x is going to be about 3.27. Okay, so if we get x equals 3.27, now we've got to multiply this. So if we're going to figure this out here, we've got to take 3 times 3.27, and our length is going to be 9.81. We've got to do the same thing with the width. We've got to go 2 times 3.27, and our width is going to be about 6.54. So be careful with those. Also, when writing ratios, let's say that um, boys to girls, okay, in any class, I'm not really sh positive what it looks like for this class today, but let's say that there are 
mm, 10 boys and six girls. Okay, if they wanted the ratio of boys to girls, okay, we would know that that is 10 to 6. But remember, lowest terms, divide both sides by 2, and we're going to get 5 to 3 would be boys to girls. Okay, what if they asked us of girls to boys? You've got to be a little bit careful. Girls to boys, we've got to write it the opposite way. It would be 6 to 10, which in lowest terms, again, divide both by 2, we're going to have 3 to 5. So be careful with that. If they say the ratio of girls to total students, okay, now we've got 6 to to get total students, we've got to add them together, and we've got 6 to 16. We divide them both by 2, because they're both even numbers, and we would have 3, the ratio of girls to total students would be 3 to 8. Okay, if they wanted boys to total, then we would do boys, which is 10, to the total, which is 16, or dividing them both by 2, we end up with 5 to 8. Okay, so just be a little bit careful about which ratios they're asking you for, and you're just writing them as ratios like that in lowest terms. Okay, um, your assignment today is on pages 3 and 4 of your booklet. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. I will be back tomorrow. Okay, and um, you should hand in your worksheet before the end of the class period. Okay, that way I know that you are actually doing something during this period. Um, if you have some questions, uh, we can grab them out of the box tomorrow and I can answer those questions tomorrow. All right, have fun.